Hey there guys, happy Monday. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys my process for making the um, the recent pendants and stuff that I've been making with all the different colors and textures and stuff like that. So I thought I'd show you guys how I do that. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so my sinuses are acting up again, again. <laughs> so I apologize if I sound nasally or anything um so i have a piece of this is translucent and white mixed it is not fully mixed together it is kind of block and chunky um i did show how to do this on a video from last week so you can check back on that one but this is rolled out on the thickest setting on mine it's a zero so it is the thickest setting and there's a reason for that and i will show you in a little bit and we're going to paint, um, I'm doing, I have Latte, Stone, Pine, Caramel, and these are all from the same brand, and then this is Mango. <coughs> so those are the colors I'm using, basically browns, greens, and yellow, and it sounds gross, but it looks really cool once it's all applied. So... We're just going to paint these randomly on our little slab here. For some reason, I always tend to start in the corner. And these do not have to be neat or pretty or anything like that. As a matter of fact, it's usually better if they're not. <clears throat> So I wipe off just a little bit between each one. We'll go with Latte next. I'll have a link to these. I really like these um, alcohol inks. Um, I think they might sell them as one big um, set, but typically you get five of the same general color in one set, which is what I did, and I really like that. Goodness gracious. <laughs> They are a little hard to open, and I didn't take the little ring off of this one. Oy. I really like this color, too, because it's my favorite. Ugh. I don't know why it's not opening. I'm going to pause and see if I can get this open. Be right back. Okay, I got it. So this one is stone. This is my favorite, favorite color of all of them. It's just a really cool, um, this greenish color. I just like it a lot. And I'm going to get some yellow in there, <clears throat> or mango. And I know it sounds weird to add that in there, but it, makes it look pretty cool especially if you kind of mix it in like that with everything else it's always fun to experiment with color because you never know what's going to come out and then latte There we go. So I'm going to let that dry for a minute. 
<coughs> and once it's dry, I'm going to run it through the pasta machine. Um, I'm going to roll it through on the one, and then I'm going to roll it through on the two. So get a little bit smaller, so it's a little bit thinner. And then I, depending on how it looks after the two, I might roll it through on the three if I feel like it's spread out enough. So, but we'll find out in a minute. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put it on pause, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're pretty good. I did cheat a little bit and dab a little bit of it off. So um, I started out, this is a zero, the thickest. I'm going to go to one. And then I'm going to go to two. And I think I am going to do three. I'm going to turn it also. So there we go. So that was on a three and it's all split out. <clears throat> so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start tearing off from one side and placing it on the other side. So you want to tear off pieces that and place them into colors that they aren't the same as. So I'll put this yellow over here on this brown. There's a lot of brown over here. Put some of this on the green and yellow. So just tear pieces off and put them on the different colors that there are. Let me get some more of this, get that over here. And you wanna kinda of overlap. I probably should have done it the other way, but that's okay. I'm going to do some of this, put this over here. Let's see, I'll put that over here. Take that, put that on here. So you just want to tear in place over here, the opposite side. like that. So I kind of like how that looks. I'm going to put a little piece of this right here. Like that. I like how that looks. So now I turn it upside down and I'm just going to kind of take these edges and smush them in because it's going to make it a little bit thicker and it also will add a little bit of interest to the edges. So smush all that in. So it's all kind of cramped into each other because we're going to roll this, we're going to thicken it back out again and roll that onto a two. I'm actually going to start, I think I'm going to roll it out on a one first. I don't think it's going to do much, but we'll roll it out on a one. Looks like that, and then I'm gonna roll it out onto a two. Just make sure there aren't gonna be any holes or anything. So there you go. So that's how that looks. And then you just cut out your shapes. So I'm gonna do a pendant like I've been doing. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's find a cool little area like this, I think. Let me see. Excuse my head if it's in the way. I like that. 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 Okay. So I'm going to cut that out. And then I think I'll do some of the earrings. So let me, <clears throat> let me cut these out and then I'll show you how I do the rest of these things. So I'll cut here. These are going to be the earrings that I've been doing with the little jump ring on the end. And then here, that's good. So 
So you'll get a couple different lessons in one today. By the way, speaking of that, I do now have a thanks button if you're on your laptop or <clears throat> um, or uh, your desktop at home. Um, there is a thanks button. It does not work on an iPad or a tablet or a phone, but I would really appreciate if you hit that thanks button. It does give me a tip um, since I don't charge for videos and I pay for all the giveaways and stuff like that. It would be nice to get a little tip every once in a while. You don't have to, but it would be nice. Just hit the thanks button and send some love my way. Um, so this is how these look. If you can see, super cool looking. And then I like to add just a little bit more. Um, I take a very, very tiny, I would guess that this is probably a quarter inch round um, circle cutter. And then I'm going to cut just a circle I'm, I'm going to put it up here, so I want it to be a contrasting color um, from that. So I'm going to do this little orange, or sorry, yellowish green area. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take my little dotting poker here. I'm going to do the, the bigger end. And I'm going to put a dent in there. Then... I'm going to put it on my pasta machine. This is out of two right now, and I'm going to do this down to a four. And it's going to just be a little distorted, and it'll have that little dot in there, as you can see. And then I'm just going to put this up here, just for a little interest. Adds a little layer, and then like that. So that's how I do that. These, I take my biggest jump rings in here. The cutter that I used was just a rectangle cutter. Um, and then I take these and I feed these through. Make sure that your split from your jump ring is on the inside of these. You don't want those hanging out on the outside. So just slide it down to about the middle, and then you're gonna join your ends. And just smooth it all down. So you'll have two sides to choose from on these. Clearly I'm gonna use this side as the top. This is the side with all the color and texture, but if you want that side, you can do that side, or just make make uh, the earring part such that you could switch from whichever side you want. But this is the side that I'm gonna have as the front of mine. You can see on this. And then I need to bake these on these. And then this one. Do the same thing, just feed it through. Go halfway, join those ends up. Normally I do this under my light, <laughs> my magnifier. So hopefully I'm doing okay. Get those all nice and neat. Smush it all down. And I'm going to use this as the front. Okie doke. And then one more thing I'm going to show you. Let me make sure this looks pretty all the way around. <clears throat> that looks good. See how that looks? <coughs> one more thing. The little pendants that I do um, with the tops, like I make these, and then the ones that are the, I don't have one sitting here. Oh yeah, I do, like this. So I have these 
findings. These are just bead caps. I'll put a link for that. Um, but all I do is just take these, kind of overlap them, whatever you have left. I'm going to put that there. And then I always turn it upside down to fill in the holes. This one you don't really need to be as diligent about because I am going to roll it up. But So I'm just going to kind of pinch as I'm rolling here. And there's a lot here, so it's going to make, I can probably make a couple of them actually. But I'm going to smush, 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 and pinch, pinch, roll, roll, smush, smush. <laughs> And I'm actually going to cut this in half, otherwise it's just going to be way too big. kind of like the colors here better, so I'm going to smoosh it around a little bit, and then I'm going to start rolling. And I use one of my acrylic um, things here to roll like this. You're going to just roll that out. Now, if I was using just one of these, you just can roll it out so it's single, but I'm using it kind of so I'm going to loop it around. I mean, I could make it this size and just have one single thing coming out, but I like the loopy around look. So I'm going to roll this out. looks pretty but I am gonna cut mm. let's see I'll cut like here because I still need to roll this out some so depending on how big you want the little loop to be it's still a little thick and then you can twist this up so it has like a different pattern if you want. You know, you can have it like that. However you'd like it to look when you go to put it in. So I'm still going to be cutting the ends off of these. Doesn't necessarily have to be the ends. It could have just been one end. So. Just join these together. I'm just going to try to find an area that I like here. Kind of like that. That looks pretty. Again, these could be worn either way, so I'll do it like that. So it'll look like that. And then just form it so that you're able to get it into this. Um, and then I bake them like this, and then when they come out after being baked, if they're really easy to pull out and slide out, so real quick, once I get it kind of in there, I kind of push the bottom so that it flares out like that, so that's how it looks. You can see like so so I bake them with this on and then if it's easy to get out um, meaning I can pull these straight out then I will go ahead and glue them in there a lot of times I don't need to because it kind of um, forms on the inside also so it kind of locks itself in there I haven't I think there's only been one that I've had to glue in there so so I'm going to go ahead and bake all this. This is what's going in there, these items. And then I will be back to show you how they look once they're baked. Um, and I bake, I'm going to bake them because of this. I'm going to bake them at 275 for an hour. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back. So this is how they came out of the oven. Um, 
I'm not in love with some of the brown and everything that this turned out, but it, it looks pretty cool. Um, I made some um, charms that I'm going to throw on there to show you guys how I kind of do that. I'm going to do them like this. Um, here's this one. This is stuck in there really good, so um, I don't need to pull it out and glue it or anything. So that's how that one looks. And then these are the earrings, and I'll show you how I finish those off as well. So I'll do the earrings first. Um, with the earrings, I need to drill, drill a hole at the top here for um, for the wire to go through. So I think I've shown you guys before. I just lay my drill on there before I turn it on. I find a place where I want to do my hole, stand it up straight, hold that down, and then just turn it on. The battery's getting kind of low on these, so. And then you have it exactly where you want. It doesn't wiggle around. It doesn't scratch up the surface or anything like that. And it's just a lot easier to do. So just put it right where you want it. Make sure you hold this down or it's going to go spinning all over the place, which sometimes I let it do. And that's it. So for to hang the charms, I already made the little charms. I just had some gemstones and then I have some like antique um, bra brass or bonds, whatever this is. And then silver beads. That's what I'm going to put on there just because I like the colors with that. So um, just get your jump ring. And I tend to use the smallest that is necessary for these. So open up your jump ring. Obviously, just put it on. Like so. And I don't have a magnifier. So I'll check that afterwards, but that's how that looks. Do the other one real quick and then I'll show you how I do the ear wires, which I've shown a couple times, but people are asking, they don't want to have to go through all the videos to learn how to do ear wires again, so I will show you how to do it on this one. Obviously, you can fast forward if you know how to do it already. I'm going to have to check those with my magnifier. So I use these uh, ball head pins, and I got these on Etsy. And since there's a kind of a thick area that these need to go through, I tend to go farther down on my pliers here to make the start of it. And then you want to go through the front. And then just twist these back over to itself, like so. And then just push it against there, like that. And then we get the handy dandy paintbrush, put it down towards the bottom there and just bend them right over. And then I like to make the little crimp at the bottom here. Just crimp that out like that, so that that's how they look. Perfect quick little ear wires. So easy. You don't have to worry about jump rings or anything like that. So this is how those look. I'll do it again. Since there are two. Just put it through with the front. And wrap it back. Like so. Bend it over your paintbrush or whatever you have that's round. For the size that you want them to be and then crimp the bottom like that that's it guys easy easy and they look really cute so that's those 
Um, with these, I'm just going to drill my holes at the bottom, do the same thing, just jump ring and put the little charms on. I'll do two holes at the top. I haven't decided if I want to do a chain on this one or if I'm going to do the brown leather cord because I think I want to do the brown leather cord. I think it would look really pretty like that. So, And then this one, I'll do the cord also. So there's that. So giveaway. Um, my, for my giveaway on Wednesday, I am giving away one of my glass bead necklaces, my lariat necklaces. This one, these are glass beads that I made and I made the necklace. So all you have to do to be entered is to comment on this video that I just did. Um, just leave a comment, good, bad, otherwise, whatever you wanna say. Um, but leave a comment and you'll be entered to get this on Wednesday. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and then if you feel like you want to, you can give me thanks and leave me a little tip. Have a great day, guys, and you will see me on Wednesday. Bye.